Hello everyone, I'm here with a guide for Meet Your Maker, a game that is essentially Doom meets Tower Defense. So the point of this game is that you build outposts and you raid other people's outposts. Now there's a lot of fancy stuff to unlock out there, but you don't start out with much. And if you don't want to grind out a ton of hours to unlock that stuff, but you still want to get kills with your outposts, then this guide is for you. This is going to be showcasing some generic setups that you can use that require either no unlocks or very few of them. And without further ado, let's get started. Alright, let's start with a very basic setup that I call a decoy. And the idea is to have a relatively obvious trap and then another one that is much less obvious. So imagine you're a careful player and you're coming down here and you see this while well, you shoot it or go in for a swing and then boom, you get stabbed. Looks simple, but you'd be surprised the amount of kills I get with this. Now, this isn't the only way to set this up. You can also have a slope, kind of like this. You go, oh, this is very obvious. Go to get your ammo or something, and then you get blindsided by this. Another example here, you have this very obvious trap, and then, oh, there's a guard in there. Shoot him, go to retrieve your ammo, get shot by a bolt in the back. And then we got this one going down a hall. Once again, kind of a tough shot. You go to retrieve your ammo. You see this one. And perhaps you're standing there. Or maybe you don't see this one. You see this one instead. You go to break it. And then you get shot. Either way, basic idea. Something obvious. Something less obvious that gets you when you go for that first thing. Moving on. Next up, we have what I call guard posts. Now, why guard posts? Well... Guards will chase the player without a specific mod if they are allowed to, or at least if there is a path to do it. But if you put them up on blocks like this, where they can't, uh, where they don't have a ramp down, for example, and they can't get to you, then they'll stay up there. Now that alone won't get a lot of kills, right? But at least it'll save your guards. But the point is, let's say you shoot this guard, and then you go get your ammo. Oops, you get stabbed. Now this is pretty common, pretty easy to dodge, but you can double it up. They go in, they see this, they break it, and then they get shot by the bolts. And you can have, you know, a few variations on that. The same idea. Here we have a second guard post. Now you'll notice there is a corrosive cube down here, and the guard is on a slope. What happens? Well, if you kill this guard, his body will ragdoll down the slope and into the corrosive cubes. If you make it too deep, uh, if the person used ammo to kill this guard, well, it's going to fall down this pool if they're not quick enough to retrieve it. Might annoy some people, but it's a legitimate tactic. Then we have the gen mat bait. This one is actually pretty decent against speedrunners. And the idea is really quite simple. You have the gen mat there, and most people will assume that the traps pointing at it are going to be second wave. So they just go in, and they get ready to rush out, and then you got this trap. And mind you, this trap is not second wave. If you're going quick, try to grab that, you have to double back. And if you're not quick enough, well, you just get shot. No second wave involved. Just bolts to the face. The homing bolt trap is up. And as the name suggests, well, you're going to need exactly one unlock for this one. And it is the homing mod for your bolt shots. And the idea is you need a relatively long corridor, not too long, however, because, you know, bolt traps have only so much range. And then you put a bolt trap on the end. Make sure to give it the homing mod. And now what happens is a person will see this and then they'll go, well, it's kind of far. I could shoot it, but I don't have to, right? I just go back here and then the bolts will come flying and stop here, right? Well, no, if you're using homing, they will 100% go through these acid cubes. And you don't even need an opaque mod. If you have enough acid cubes there, and you should put more than one definitely, because otherwise solid blocks might get in the way. But the person will stand there, and it's going to be really quite hard to see. Of course, a second mod, the opaque mod for this, is going to make it even harder to see. But still, you can catch a lot of people off guard with this. Finally, we have what I call the triple whammy. Now, this is similar to the decoy one, 
except you have an additional trap and the setup is kind of important. Now you don't need any unlocks for this, but it's a lot more effective if you have at least holo cubes, especially picture perfect holo cubes. And the idea, well, this is one example of it. Again, you go there, you go, haha, I spotted your second trap. And then you go in and then you get shot. Now here's where it gets really kind of difficult to deal with. You go like this, like that, and then preferably on the floor, you have a hole filled with a holo cube. Again, a picture perfect holo cube will make it a lot more convincing. They go to retrieve and then they start falling. And this is pretty important, right? They'll have to jump to get out. And a lot of people, they'll freak out. They'll try to go for this and they might not even hit this. And if they just jump to get out of the way, they get stabbed. Now, if they've broken both traps, they can still kind of get out. So this is better with bombs. If you have bomb ejectors and hollow cubes, the bombs will 100% spill all over the place. Uh, even if it's from below, uh, especially chaos bombs. So even if they get out of the hole, well, now there's bombs everywhere. So you can really get people with this. And you can also, of course, if you have holo cubes, put an extra holo cube there. Uh, a lot of people don't expect the double holo cube trap as well. So yeah, triple whammy. Very effective, doesn't require a lot, catches people off guard. Would recommend. Bonus tip don't use these tricks all of the time. In fact, you should use these only once or twice per outpost. The reason is quite simple, really. If you use this around every corner, people will start to expect it and then they'll just deal with it and it stops working. There's no point. Now, if you do this and then don't have a trap there, then people will go across around your corner. They'll go, oh, okay, okay. They'll get into a, they'll get a feeling of a pattern, right? And they'll start feeling safe and they'll start going for those shots, grab the ammo without trying to deal with a trap hidden there. And that's a good way to magnify things. Now, the other aspect of this is simply that it's going to make your base boring if you keep doing the same thing, boring and or tedious. And then you might actually lose accolades um, in top of not getting more kills for doing the same thing over and over again. So do not repeat these tricks more than once or twice or do them different and try to just be unpredictable. Don't put things around certain corners, put nothing in that corner, right? Make people go, oh, 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 and ah, oh, well, there's nothing. All right, that's good, right? And then do this a few more times. They'll feel like you're maybe just a chaotic builder or that you're, you know, not actually that clever. And then you get them. And that's how you get kills with very few unlocks. If you know more setups like these that don't require a lot of unlocks, then let me know in the comments. Otherwise, that's gonna be it for this video. Please consider liking and subscribing if you found this helpful, or if you would like to see more Meet Your Baker in the future. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.